Yuya vs. Yuri Zark, the big bad villain of the series. His original form was split into four different characters, each with their own dimension dragon. Yuya, the main character, is from the Pendulum Dimension. He has the soul of the Xyz Dimension's Yuto inside of him. Yuri is the evil fusion counterpart, and he has the soul of Yugo inside of him from the Synchro Dimension. Yuya really wants to prevent all four of them from merging together. Yuri absolutely wants this to happen. Unfortunately, due to these circumstances, Yuya is in a perpetual state of berserker rage. Literally, throughout this entire duel, he is going to be on the brink of snapping and just wanting to merge with everyone else anyway, due to the influence of their true form, Zark. The only thing keeping him sane is his friends and the Smile World card he's going to have in his hand throughout this duel. You see, this card is a precious memento to him, given to him by his father, and it's a representation of not just dueling to win, but to have fun and to entertain a crowd. Let's hope nothing bad happens to this during this duel. Today, I want to see if Yuya could have won earlier in the duel. Maybe keep his sanity a little bit more and just completely preventing the merger of these four characters. Also, I want to see if a Pendulum Xyz deck really does beat a Fusion Synchro deck. We won't know unless we jump into the duel. The action duel begins and Yuri goes first. He doesn't draw since he has gone first. That's right, we're in modern day-ish Yu-Gi-Oh! So the person who goes first doesn't get to draw as like a balancing thing. So yeah. Yuri's opening hand consists of Predaplant Orphis Scorpio, Predaplant Stapelia Worm, Predaplant Banksy Ogre, Predaplant Reborn, and Predaprouting. That's a lot of Predaplant in hand, I can't lie. Yuri starts by summoning his Predaplant Orphis Scorpio to the field. Due to its effect, since it was normal summoned, Yuri can send one Predaplant monster from his hand to the grave in order to special summon a level 3 or lower Predaplant monster from his deck. Yuri sends the Predaplant Stapelia Worm in his hand to the grave in order to special summon Predaplant Darling Tonia Cobra from his deck. Now, since Cobra was special summoned, its effect lets Yuri add a polymerization spell from his deck straight to his hand. With polymerization in hand, he immediately activates it and fuses two dark monsters together in order to summon his ace card, Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon. Yuri ends his turn by setting Preda Prouting face down. Now, the question to ask after this turn was Starving Venom Fusion Dragon the right thing to summon on the first turn of the duel? With this monster's ability to absorb the attack off a special summon monster on the opponent's side of the field, you can get this monster to some pretty high attack point levels and possibly go for some form of OTK with it. Typically, it's best to summon on the second turn. So why didn't Yuri summon any of his other fusion monsters? Well, he doesn't have any others. The only other fusion card Yuri has seen using throughout the entire series is Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. However, he is unable to make this monster because he needs Starving Venom Fusion Dragon as one of the materials for it. So he had no other options for fusion summoning. Keep in mind, all of these Predaplant fusion monsters exist in the real world now, but back then, there's nothing. So he didn't have any other options. However, I will give him this. Starving Venom's final ability, if it is destroyed, it destroys all special summon monsters the opponent controls. That's not a bad first turn thing to have on the field. If your opponent destroys it, well, you'll just wipe their entire field. So it's not that bad. It's fine. It's Yuya's turn and he draws. His opening hand consists of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Stargazer Magician, Time Gazer Magician, Performer Power Coin Dragon, Smile World and Starlight Force. Yuya looks at his Smile World card and manages to calm himself down. Thanks to this, Yuya is able to compose himself and place his Stargazer Magician and Time Gazer Magician into his Pendulum Zones. With a scale 1 and a scale 8 in there, this means he can Pendulum Summon as many monsters as he has in his hand or face up in his extra deck between those two numbers. And so, Yuya Pendulum summons his level 7 ace, Odd-Eyes Pendulum Dragon, along with the level 4 
coin dragon. If you're not familiar with the pendulum mechanic and pendulum sums and everything, I actually have a handy video here to you can quickly refresh yourself if you want to do that, but that's all I'll say about that. Let's go back. Due to the continuous effect of coin dragon, all dragon type monsters you your controls gain 500 attack. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. And so, our eyes attack starving venom. However, Yuri activates his trap, Predator Prouting. Now, due to this card's effect, when a dark monster is targeted for an attack, that monster is not destroyed by the battle. Instead, after, the attacking card is destroyed. Following this, three Predator Plant tokens are summoned to the field. Luckily for Yuya, Coin Dragon's second effect protects his dragon monsters from being destroyed by card effects. So, Odai's survives. However, the battle still continues. Starving Venom is not destroyed thanks to Yuri's trap. However, Yuri still takes the damage. <laughs> which, keep in mind, is doubled thanks to the effect of Odai's Pendulum Dragon, which doubles the battle damage when it battles a level 5 or higher monster. The second effect of Predator Prouting now summons three tokens to Yuri's side of the field. Yuya uses his Coin Dragon to destroy one of them, but with no further plays, he sets his Starlight Force face down and ends his turn. It's back to Yuri, and he draws Dragon Vine. Yuri tributes one of his Predator Plant tokens to summon his Tuna monster, Predator Plant Banksyoga. Yuri tunes the level 6 Tuna with the last level 1 Predator Plant token he controls in order to Synchro Summon Yugo's Ace Monster, Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Keep in mind at this point in the door there are now 3 Dimensional Dragons on the field and Yuya is not having a good time because of this. <laughs> Yuri activates one of the effects of his Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Its effect lets him negate the effects of a level 5 or higher monster the opponent controls and then transfer that effect onto this card until the end of the turn. He negates the effect of Odd Eyes and grants its effect to its own. Wait a minute, I've just, I've just realized something. When he takes the effects of monsters, it, like I said, it's like it's grafting the effect onto itself, which is a, a plant term. When you graft something in a gardening, you're taking like the lower half of a plant, and you're like chopping the top off, and you're putting a different plant on top. There's like a symbiotic thing they can do with that where you get strong roots, a beautiful flower or bountiful fruit thing on top, and they benefit each other really, don't they, kind of thing. So that's kind of what's happening here. Starving Venom is grafting a better thing onto the top of it. I thought it was kind of cool. It's kind of how effects reference what they are. I just think it's clever. I don't know. I just, you know, whatever. Anyway, Yuya's having none of this. So he activates his Starlight Force Trap. Its effect can only be activated if a monster is special summoned from the extra deck. Now, all monsters special summoned from the extra deck have their effects negated while this card remains on the field. Also, their levels become 4. During each standby phase, however, their level will increase by 1. The reason for this is that during the end phases, there will be a check. If the combined levels of all monsters Yuya controls are less than or equal to the combined levels of all monsters Yuri controls, then this card will destroy itself. Keep in mind it's Yuya's end phase where this check happens, not any old end phase, or else it, things would go very badly very quickly for him. But uh, yeah, just there you go, that's the effect. And so with both of Yuri's monsters' effects negated and their levels changed to 4, Yuri decides regardless to attack Coin Dragon with Clearwing. Since Coin Dragon was destroyed, its effect that was increasing Odai's attack expires. Note as well, when a Pendulum Monster is destroyed, it doesn't go to the graveyard, it goes face up in the extra deck. This is one of the main gimmicks of Pendulum Monsters. Whenever they would be sent from the field to the graveyard, they are always sent face up to the extra deck instead. So with that in mind, Yuri attacks again. Now with Starving Venom, and he destroys Odai's Pendulum Dragon. Yuri sets his Dragon Vine Trap face down and ends his turn. It's Yuya's turn, and he draws Performer Pal Drop Gallop. 
The standby phase occurs and the effect of Starlight Force activates, which increases the levels of all of Yuri's monsters by one. Yuya immediately initiates a Pendulum Summon. He summons his Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and Performer Pal Coin Dragon from his extra deck, alongside his Performer Pal Drop Gallop from his hand. Since Drop Gallop was Pendulum Summoned, it lets Yuya draw cards equal to the amount of Performer Pal monsters Pendulum Summoned simultaneously with it. Since Yuya summoned two of the monsters, he draws two new cards. He gets Breakaway and Performer Pal Flat Rat. Yuya activates the second effect of Drop Gallop. Since he controls another level 5 or higher monster, he can change this monster's level to one of the levels 1, 2, 3, or 4. Since Yuya wants to get out his rank 4 Xyz monster, he changes its level to 4. With two level 4 monsters, he overlays Drop Gallop and Coin Dragon to Xyz summon Yuto's ace monster, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Yuri, knowing full well what this monster will do, immediately activates his Dragon Vine Trap. Now, since Yuya controls two Dragon-type monsters, this continuous trap will take control of the one on the opponent's side of the field with the lowest level. Since Xyz monsters don't have levels, it is technically the lowest leveled one. Dark Rebellion moves to Yuri's side of the field. <laughs> Completely out of options, Yuya ends his turn by setting his breakaway trap face down. As the turn ends, Starlight Force checks the levels of the monsters on both players' fields. Since Yuri now has 10 stars and Yuya only has 7, Starlight Force sends itself to the graveyard. All of Yuri's levels return to normal, and all of their effects are live once again. It's Yuri's turn, and the penultimate turn of the duel. He draws and gets Ridiculing World. Yuri moves straight into his battle phase and attacks and destroys Odd Eyes with his Starving Venom. He then uses his Clear Wing to attack Yuya directly. Yuya attempts to use the action card Evasion, which he quickly searched for and found. However, Yuri uses the action card that he found, No Action, which negates and destroys Yuya's action card. As a result, the direct attack is successful. Yuri attempts to go for game by declaring his attack with Dark Rebellion. With but a few seconds left before the attack connects, Yuya tries again to save himself via an action card. He is successful and finds Miracle. However, yet again, Yuri found one too, Action Crush, which destroys all action cards in both players' hands. With no time left to look for another action card, Yuya is forced to activate his set trap, Breakaway, which, by discarding one spell card in his hand, he immediately ends the battle phase. Now I know what you're saying. Wait, why didn't he just use this straight away? He could have kept his Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon safe and taken no damage throughout this entire turn. Why didn't he just use it straight away? Well, it's because he's only got one spell card in his hand, and that spell card is Smile World. So what Yuya has essentially just done is throw his memento from his father away. Let's see how he takes that. So as you can see, it was a pretty big deal for Yuya to do that. Luckily, he is pulled back by his friends. Yuri makes his final play by setting his Predaplant Reborn and ridiculing World face down as he ends his turn. Not to be that guy, but you know what you could have done, Yuya? You could have discarded one of the action spell cards you just drew to meet this card's requirement, so you could have not only taken no damage this turn, you could have also kept Smile World in your hand. So in terms of your sanity, Yuya, I'm going to have to give you a misplay for this one. In his defense, to be fair, a lot was happening so quickly. Maybe you forgot that you could do this with action cards, but never mind. With newfound resolve, it's Yuya's turn and the final turn of the duel. He draws and gets Performer Pal Trap Mimic. Yuya immediately initiates a Pendulum Summon. He summons his Trap Mimic and Performer Pal Flat Rat from his hand and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon from his extra deck. 
You know when I said that Yuya had found newfound resolve? Well, unfortunately, that resolve that he found was don't think about anything else. I just have to win. Keep that line in mind, because that is the straw that broke the camel's back. Now, since Trap Mimic was special summoned, its effect allows Yuya to destroy one continuous trap on the field. This monster will then move into the spell and trap zone and then take on the effect of the continuous trap that it destroys. Yuya destroys Yuri's Dragonvine trap, which brings Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon back over to his side of the field. Yuya then uses the effect of Dragonvine for himself to take control of the lowest level monster that Yuri controls. Since Clearwing is a level 7 and Starving Venom is a level 8, he takes Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Yuri, knowing full well that Yuya will now use Dark Rebellion's effect to go for his final play, he activates his own Predaplant Reborn, which lets him special summon a Predaplant in his graveyard. He summons Predaplant Stapelia Worm. The intent being by getting this monster out, when he uses his Xyz Dragon's ability to halve the opponent's monster's attack and add it to his own, this monster can negate that effect and then destroy that card. However, Yuya is going to counter this. You see, as Yuri has now special summoned a monster, the effect of Flat Rat kicks in, which changes the level of a summoned monster to the same as this card's. Now, Stepelia Worm has become a level 5 monster. Why would changing the opponent's monster's level matter? Well, now when Yuya activates the effect of Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon to halve the attack of Starving Venom and add its lost attack onto its own, when Yuri uses Stepelia Worm's effect to negate and destroy the monster, now since it is a level 5, Clearwing Synchro Dragon can use its effect. You see, Clearwing's effect is when a level 5 or higher monster uses its effect, once per turn, the effect is negated, the monster is destroyed, and this monster gains attack equal to the destroyed monster. And so, Stepelia Worm is destroyed, its effect is negated, and Dark Rebellion's effect resolves, absorbing half of Starving Venom's attack. However, he's not done because he uses its effect again by detaching its final overlay unit. Yuri down, but not out, goes for his final play. He activates his set, Ridiculing World. Smile World, Ridiculing World, I see what you did there. This card increases the attack of all monsters Yuya controls by 100, but it now prevents every monster whose attack is higher than their originals to be unable to attack for the rest of this turn. Yuri hoped this would be the end of Yuya's turn, but Flat Rat has one final move. Since the attack of a monster on the field has changed, he can tribute this card, then change the attack of one monster back to its original attack. This final turn, it's a very hyper specific cards to deal with hyper specific situations kind of thing don't get me wrong it's really cool but you do notice it i think in this one it's a very structured duel if you get what i'm trying to say yuya returns odd eyes pendulum dragon's attack back to normal meaning since its attack is normal it is the only monster that is allowed to attack this turn yuya orders odd eyes pendulum dragon to attack and destroy starving venom fusion dragon since odd eyes battled a level five or higher monster its effect doubles the damage, dealing exactly 3,600 damage to Yuri. Perfect game. Yuya has won the duel. Yuri isn't so rattled by the loss since his first ever defeat was technically to himself. However, unfortunately, Yuya realizes that by focusing solely on winning rather than entertaining, he was able to achieve victory. And so, the influence of Zark takes over. Yuya, Yuri, Yugo, Yuto, Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon, Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, Dark Rebellion, Xyz Dragon, and Clearwing Synchro Dragon all merge together, becoming the world ending calamity, the Supreme King Zark. Overall, I think the duel played out how it was supposed to. It was quite a choreographed duel, and the cards that they had in their hands, I think we we're always going to be led to this 
final ending. It's a shame that Yuri didn't have more extra deck cards because there's a little bit more wiggle room with what he could do, but since he didn't, there's nothing else he really could have done. Want to learn more about pendulums? I have a video right here for you to check out if you want to learn more. Or would you rather learn more about the Dimension Dragons? Well, I have a video right here for that one. Hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Catch you later.